it's a me, a Mario. Hello. It, I'm here, present in this z zone. Or something. Hello. I'm playing Sun. As evidenced. Oh. So. Yeah, everything seems to be fine. How many how many options actually are there? There's English, Spanish, French, Dutch, Italian, that's Japanese, that's Korean, and these are two different variants of Chinese. Presumably one of these is Mandarin and the other one is the other variant of Chinese that I don't know the name of. That seems that seems pretty normal to be fair. That's uh, I I've used Rowlet twice before. I've played this game once, and I've played Ultra Sun once, and I picked Rowlet both times. And I, I, I wanna... I, L Litton and Incineroar have grown on me. Spoiler alert, that's the one I'm using. Um... As, yeah, I say, um... It did be like that. Ah, uh, yeah. He's, he's adjusting his webcam. Damn. And call me out like that. Kukui does look like a, like a sort of a 2000s... Like, he runs like a Guy Fieri-esque, like, cooking show. You know? He's got the shades, he's got the goatee, and like, the sideburns. Like, he looks like a Hawaiian Guy Fieri. Or what I could imagine a Hawaiian Guy Fieri to look like. Alola is made up of several very linear circles. So, um, just 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 a quick spoiler. Ah, okay, that's yeah, all good. Yeah, see ya. Ah, uh, yes. Um, oh, you can change your hair in this game, so I'll pick this one, because it's the closest you start with. Let's just go like this. So, quick spoiler alert. I've played this game once. And I've played Ultra Sun once, as I mentioned before. And I fucking hate both of them. Uh, it's been a long time. Because uh, I, I hated X and Y the first time I played them. I hated them with a fiery passion, didn't play them for, for, nearly, for nearly a decade. Um, and it has been probably about five years. Four, no, it's, it's been about four years, I think, since I played one of you know either Sun, Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. So I want to come in with a fresh perspective. I... I, I know I'm probably not going to like it that much. But we will see. Ooh, cutscene. I have to say, and some, something I do know to be true, is that this game has what is probably the best story in the franchise. I prefer black and white story. Um, but this game has... Um, I think the overall plot is better, even if I like black and white's writing a little more. This music's pretty good. This woman is fleeing. She's presumably stolen something. 
and she's teleporting away. I like the presentation in this game, it's very good. Whether the game is any good, it's another question altogether. Uh, three months later, whoa. It's a fucking massive house. Actually, mm, no, 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 no. Most of it is most of it is garage. So, never mind. It's not that big. Music slaps. So we've got our Canto Meowth. Oh, it's a sort of a mirror of Gen 6. Oh, it's not quite as good. It doesn't it doesn't work nearly as well. Who sleeps like that? Fully clothed, trainers on. Like what the fuck? And a, like on top of the sheets as well. What the fuck? Oh damn, he walks like a fucking robot. Oh my god, that's horrible. Still haven't unpacked? Or as you know, I think we hadn't moved yet. Kind of run like an idiot too. <gasps> Your mother has a bedroom in this game, I forgot about that. I want to go in here. I want to see if this is actually like a... Yeah, your mother actually has a place to sleep. She doesn't just sleep on the table or whatever. Good for her. I didn't open the door. He just let himself in. What a fucking bungus. Okay, that does kind of slap. It's pretty good. Ooh, I like that. Next town over. If he's been the Kanto gym leaders, how has he not beaten any of the Kahunas? Stylin' hat? That's a good question, I'm not sure if I have my hat particularly stylin'.
Go with this strange shirtless man. He has a lab coat. Over his shirtless... It's just... Such an idiot. Why do I walk like a robot? Oh, I remember this track. This track's... This track's okay. Very Route 1, you know. Why do I walk like a robot? So upright. So hopefully, I'll be able to get through the tutorial in this two and a half hour stream. The uh, most likely, I won't though. <laughs> That's actually something I forgot. Do I have a? I start with the town map, don't I? No. But, yeah, the, these islands are so tiny and, like, densely packed that it just makes no geographic sense. Like, Pokemon games don't really make much sense anyway. I used to have to look at Sutopolis City for, to, you know, to, to reveal that. I guess. Tutorial is. it hurts. Casually doing some religious worship. Can't miss him. He looks just like a kahuna. Despite the fact that we've already asked him and said that we explicitly don't know what that is. Can I leave? No. The mysterious woman. Well, Mahalo Trail. Music's kind of good. Oh, Ooh, that's nice.
There's like three of them in here. Just getting rid of them. They're annoying. Little guy. He's spooked. We aren't very helpful, are you? Oh, this bridge is very unstable. Nebby almost... Nebby got me killed. Oh. Chicken man. <laughs> Nebby's face. Damn. Do be like that sometimes, you know? Pew. the kahuna get in the bag get in that fucking bag nebby Those boots or socks? I think they're socks. I'm gonna round over here see if there's anything. Nah. Well, we've been going for like 20 minutes. Oh, thank you very much for the sub. Poggers. <laughs> Every time. Kahuna Hala. See, I like the Australian one. That's the thing. I might change it to French at some point. But it would be Borgales. If you like that, it'd be great. He's 
It's got a stick in his belt. Get to pick a star. He does a circle. So we're gonna pick the good one. Oh, uh, well. Now, as much as I would like to pick Rowlet, I have used him twice before. I'm gonna use Lin. As much as i looking at him, you know, I, uh, there's a Rowlet, he's here. But I am going to pick Litten. Rowlet is still here in our hearts. Litten is pretty great. Um, I I used to hate. Uh, I like Litten's design because it's got like the brimstone on its head with the eyes as the circle. I think that's that's like a really it's a really cool piece of design. But I really hate. I I don't really like Tora Cat. And I hate it Incineroar. Incineroar has grown on me, and I really like Incineroar now, but Toracat really sucks. Um, and also Poplio is just terrible. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Cat. Cat. He's got the little, his little cat foot bean things, which is uh, appropriate. That's, uh, we have Litten. I will give Litten a nickname, and uh, this playthrough we're having the Bean Boys. So the question is, the question is, we need a, a type of type of bean. Show me the types of beans. Kidney beans, soy beans, garbanzo beans, <laughs> navy beans, canelli, pinto. Hmm. Yeah, kid kidney is always a good option. Lima, lentil. Red. Oh, and Pinto. I like Pinto. There we go. Oh. Pinto. Pew. Well, so, okay, so Nebby can be seen here. Oh. Give me a dex. Yeah. What's it? Oh, train to pass ball. Question 
question is, do I get to fight a guy? Oh, it's Hal. Thanks. I'm not sure why he does. Oh, he, oh, he does arm stretches so he can throw his. Okay, that's cool. I actually kind of like that. I do like Hal's theme. It has very Gen Five vibes. It sounds like Bianca's theme. I'm also. I, I like this. I like this layout. Like too long have we had the circle with three things beneath it, which are really awkward to navigate with without a stylus. This version, I think, is much nicer. Plus, if I remember correctly, you can look at, um, yeah, you can, uh, I, I can't do it, I have to use the, the click thing, but you can see um, the stages that everybody's on, which I think is really good, and you can see their abilities as well, like, that's really good. I forgot about leafage. That's a quite a lot. Oh, it's a crit. Okay. Oh, it's doing it already. The the battle the battle thing is bugged. Why does Rowler go kind of flat? He goes weirdly flat when he um. Yeah, I'll, I'll use Haruko at some point. Definitely, that's a really good name. I'm not sure what that stick in his belt is. I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's like a culture, a cultural thing. <laughs> Get in the bag, Nebby. Cat. Because he's cool. He is pretty cool. Well, as we're introducing a second cat into the house, this is potentially hazardous. Meowth may try to disembowel it, which would be bad. Oh, there's a bot. I killed it. Be Professor Kukui again, or maybe Hal. Ah, there we go. Poker capturing. We're not out of the tutorial yet, though. Still got a lot more tutorial to do.
Oh, I forgot about the stupid gimmick in this game with, um... If you play Pokemon Moon, the time of day is swapped or something. That might be Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, but it's... Whatever it is, it's real fucking stupid. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna speed up the emulator. It's gonna mute it. Just because it's super annoying, and uh, yeah, I don't wanna have to put up with that shit. I wonder how many picky pecks this guy has from teaching new trainers how to catch Pokemon. That's something I want to know. I don't like that item get noise. Something I want to check. Because my first Pokemon is here. I think. Oh. Uh, my first Pokemon isn't here because Route 1 is, like, really long for some reason. We might as well fight. doing something real quick. Something I didn't realize I needed to do in prep for this stream. Who's an item? Potion. It's pretty good. It's a child. Let's beat him up. Vibin. It's good times. I say thank you very much for the follow. Oh, oh youngster Jimmy. Oh, he's got the Alolan. Oh, look at look at that Rattata. He's standing up. Hell yeah! What a powerful little guy. Oh. Oh, it missed. Oh. Yeah, he, he, he does have a mustache. It's pretty great. Pinto is level 7 now. Youngster Jimmy.
a slightly older child. I'll show you my sister who I'm super close- what? Is a Pokemon her sister? I, I don't know. Caterpie's female. What the fuck is with that tree bugging out in the background? It stopped now, but it was like flickering in and- oh, look at it! What the fuck is that tree doing? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Pokeball? Okay. Yeah. Pretty useful. That's something I want to do. The game just crashed and reset. Okay, right. Have they been saying? No, no they haven't. Okay, right. So I'm going to take a break here and try and catch up as best I can over the course of that break. Uh, I'll be back in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I don't know. I'm going to get back to where I was. I'm going to have the game sped up. Uh, so yeah, uh, I love the simulator. It's, I love it. It's great. Uh, I literally pressed start like on this controller. Which doesn't do anything, by the way. Um, um, cause I've been playing other games, and yeah, the game just reset. So, sweet. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be back, be back in a bit, I guess. Sure.
Okay, I'm back. So, uh, I managed to... It actually didn't take me very long at all, because the speed up on, in this emulator is like four times speed or something ridiculous. But I've gotten, I've gotten back here, uh, and we're actually going to catch our first Pokemon, and it's going to take a while. I will tell you flat out, it's going to take a while. Um, because there are a lot of things here, and uh, yeah, we have a 5% chance of finding the thing that I want. Uh, this is some Rolt shit right here. Gonna be lots of Ledybus, and I ain't catching Ledyba because Ledyer is... Ledian is fucking terrible and looks like a Digimon. Something I might do to speed things up, and to ease the pain, is mute this, speed up this, and get some chill finding 5% Pokemon music. There we go. Right. It's gonna be a while. He says, it, we, we, we might find it quite quickly. Ultimately, it's random chance. Oh, I wish. I wish. Sadly, it is only like... Like, eight bars. So I think it would get maddening quite quickly. Uh, the... The... Wii Sports Resort theme. Totally. But no, it's just, it's just this music. Um... I could get away with Wii Sports music, but nothing yet. Uh, also, uh, Pinto has a naive nature, which is actually quite good. Um, uh, it's pretty decent. Another Ladybug. Uh, No, the Ladybug. It's going to be mostly Ladybugs down here, I swear. Thing we want will appear eventually. I will save again in a second, because I'm... Not that I've, I've done literally nothing, but I don't trust this fucking emulator. We Oh, there's also Pokemon Refresh as well. You can, you know, pet. Pet your Pokemon. Let's uh, pet him. That's good. Oh, his, uh, his, his actual thing is leveled up. That's actually really good. Um, nope, another young goose. Not interested in the young goose. Not interested in Caterpie. Nope. I like I like young goose and gum shoes, but because they're Route one rodents, they they garbage. I'm I'm trying to think of like genuinely good Route one rodents, and Stoutland is decisively usable. Uh, it has a good good move pool, like it's usable in main game. Like obviously you'd never take it into combat. I imagine it's like like PU. Um, I don't know. Stoutland Stoutland feels like an RU tier Pokemon. Let's let's have a look. Let's don't land Smogon. Stoutland's... Stoutland is PU in Sun and Moon. What about Black and White? Untit? X and Y, PU, Sword and Shield, Untit. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's unusable. But, that's... Yeah, no, there's no upside, it's just, that's just kind of sad. But, Stoutland is very usable in the main game. Um... Um... Comedy is subjective, I think is more, um... Yeah, that's, uh... Com comedy is very subjective, I think is probably my response to, uh, the gigantic wall of vaguely legible text. Um... Uh, 
I'm not having great luck. The realistically, I've, fought, I've found 20 Pokemon. I should have found it by now. I haven't. Nope. Let me just make sure I am actually in the right place. Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm looking at the... I am, I am in the wrong place. I am, I am in the wrong place. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, that's why. That's, that's okay. It was only like five minutes of wasted time. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can find it here. I can find it here. Let's see what this is. Ah. I have a feeling the translation is probably not fantastic. Uh, two fields of growth. Uh, yeah. This this is definitely the place, I think. Cuz I was like I was looking at the old Sun Launchman and I was like, wait, there's Baneri on here? I didn't see Baneri. And it was like a 10% cat, a 10% fine, so I totally would have found it. Um, but I hadn't, which is weird. Uh, also, fun fact is Pokemon will never escape from Pokeballs prior to the Iki Town Festival, so I can just chuck a ball at whatever the thing that I'm f I find when, once I find it. And uh, it's guaranteed catch, which is good. Let me save. Apparently we can do something with Pokemon Refresh, so let's do that. Because there are benefits to maxing this out. And because I'm on speed up, it's like no time whatsoever. Just do this for a little bit of time, and then close out of it. Oh, there's a child to beat up. Sure, let's beat up this child. I didn't really want to do this on speed up, but whatever. Um... Yeah, once you have fought a Pokemon, it will tell you um, it's... Um... Oh, okay, after a fight, yeah, you can do this, which I... Oh, no, that's the wrong one. It's this. Which I, which I kind of like. It's it's dumb and stupid, but I, I like it. Come, let me... Let me... Get out. There we go. Oh. That's promising. This Yeah, this is definitely the right place. Because there's... Uh, we can find Metapod here. Yeah, still only a 5% catch chance, and we will find it level 3 to 5, so. That's Grubbin. It's only 10% chance to find Grubbin? And Grubbin's like this game's, like, bug, you know? I actually really like Grubbin. I want to, I want to use Vicavolt, but you can't use Vicavolt. <laughs> That's the problem. Is Vicavolt is awesome, but you just can't use it because you, you're stuck with Charger Bug until like two thirds of the way through the game. And whilst Charger Bug is much better than Pokemon, like, oh, here we go. This is this this is my guy. We're using Pichu, lads. Or yeah, by we're, we're using Pikachu and Raichu. So. Learned Lick? Oh, that's quite useful. We have Pichu. We need a bean name for him. It's male. Hmm. Category edible legumes. Here we go. Lentil. Hmm. 
I'm actually, actually going to mark down this uh, category for of edible legumes. Um, where is... I'm going to call them lentil. Am I spelling lentil correctly? Oh, yeah. Lentil. He's in our party now. Now, actually, I thought you caught Pikachu on this route, so I didn't actually make a token, like an icon. I wonder what the fuck that was. Um, so I haven't actually put Pichu on here, so I need to just... Yeah, I've, I saw it out. That's what I was sawing earlier on. I believe Pichu evolves via friendship, I want to say. We won't be catching another Pokemon for a while, though. Right, we are going to save. I do not trust this fucking emulator. We can... Uh, that's pretty good, I like that. Let's uh, pet the cat. Where's, where's Lentil? Oh, level 2 affection already! There we go. There we go. I need to check Lentil's nature, actually. I need to see, like, what his power level is. Thundershock. N another naive nature. That's still pretty good. We're saving again. I just, I, I don't trust it. The saving is like instant. Oh. Oh, down the bob. Yeah, it's, it's really clear that Nintendo actually put in a good amount of effort into like like, cultural research and sensitivity for this game, which is really surprising given how hard they butchered the Gala region. <laughs> like, all the Pokemon are really spot on, but, um, if, if you have to squint a little bit for some of them, but, like, a lot of them are really niche references, but, like, the region itself is like, who did this? Why did you do this? I hate you, Nintendo. Why have you done this to my country? <laughs> Um, I want to. I want to punch whoever did this in the face, and then in the dick, and/or vagina, like, you know, whatever. Right? I want to punch them because it's awful. Um, it's it's. Um, but yeah, well, we'll we'll have to see. Oh. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. Healing my dudes. That's nice. Uh, not yet, no. Because I want to put um, I want to put Lentil up front, so um, so he gets some XP. He's only got Charm and Thunder Shock, but we'll be to get some use out of him. I'll also do some. Now, yeah. come on, zoom in. Do the zoom. Do the thing. What a lad. Now, let me just check how Pichu levels up. I'm pretty sure it's by friendship. Oh, I just put Pachu. P 
teach you. With high friendship, yeah. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna save, because, again, I don't, I don't trust this fucking game. I've only been playing for an hour and thingy, but that's... No, that isn't true. Um... Because when you're sped up, um, yeah, the, the, the timer gets a bit out of whack. That's cool. Oh, he's got two Pokemon now. Oh, he also has Pichu. It's probably higher level than mine. It is. <laughs> I lower my attack? I think it does. Yeah, massively that was my attack, but I have Ember, so who cares? Lentil's level 5, look at him go. Learn Tail Whip. Just a, w a worse version of Charm. <laughs> it's just ac actively worse than Charm. Oh. Oh, that's just wonderful, that is. This menu is bugged. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, right, that's worse than the bag being bugged. That's like infinitely worse than the bag being bugged. Mmm, I love the simulator so much. Fun fact, I don't. I hate the simulator. <laughs> it makes me very angry. I might switch off the controller controls and see if that makes a difference. Because it might. I, I, I might. The next time I take a break, um, I might I might do that. You Also, you guys might think this is the end of the tutorial uh, in this game. It's not. This is like the first, like, third of the tutorial. Or maybe half. It's like, the tutorial in this game is like three hours long. I I genuinely don't know if I'm going to get to the end of all the tutorialization before I finish the stream at like half four. Ow. I want to see if Lentil can solo Rally, because I, th I think he can. I should probably use Charm. I should probably use a potion. Because <laughs> it, it might be this controller that's bugging out the emulator. I don't think it is. I think this emulator is just terrible. But, um... I won't actually have to use it in the foreseeable future. Because this is the last 3D 3DS Pokemon game. Now, this is the last Pokemon game that isn't on the Switch that I haven't played outside of, like, Gen 3 and earlier. The only generation I've not played is Gen 1. Which I don't really want to play on stream, to be honest, because Gen 1 is just kind of uninteresting. Uh, yeah, I say, I, I have plans to get a capture card later on this year, or, or sort of, or, or probably come the new year, uh, which means I will play Sword, and I will also play Legends Arceus, and that I'll play that live, I'll play it like the day it comes out, most likely. That, that, that should be good fun. I am, I'm actually quite looking forward to that. Um, Le Legends Arceus looks interesting. I'm not sure if it looks good, but it looks it looks it looks like an interesting and unique experience. Uh, I am I'm not optimistic. I don't think I could ever be optimistic for a Pokemon game ever again. 
I don't think I have that that I don't think I have that that childlike joy within me died a long time ago. And this game killed it, actually. <laughs> this this game this game killed it. Uh and um Hmm. Why does he flatten? That's so so strange. Poor Rail. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Rail up here because he kept falling off, so I put him down here. But I haven't put him back in a couple of months, actually. There we go. He's up here now. Is he in frame? Yeah, he is. Just about. He's hanging out. Let's see if I can turn him towards the camera a bit. I'm also planning on getting a new webcam because this one is fucking terrible, as I'm sure you can tell. But I am very budget. I don't put much like the capture card is a is like the most monetary investment I'm likely to make in this stream ever. So that's like 150 quid. Um, he's giving me the thing I'll literally never use. I'm okay with using Mega Evolution because Mega Evolution is good fun. This can fuck off. The the, the Z ring can suck my Z dick. So yeah, the, the Island Challenge is this game's version of the Gem Challenge, and it's decisively much worse. Um, they tried to do something new, which, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with them doing something new. It's just this time around, it was a terrible idea. And most people hated it for good reason, because it is bad. Um, like, you know all those gym leaders who have, like, really memorable, cool fights? What if you don't fight, like, really any of them? And you fight, like, random, powered-up, wild Pokémon instead. That's it. Like, that's all- that's all of it. Like, it sucks. I can't think of a single, like, island trial that I think is any good. They- they're all just awful. <laughs> Got a date with my bed. The next day. Yeah, Kukui's fucking rude. <laughs> Just walks into people's houses. My great new trainer, woo. Yes, I know it's down here. Stop talking.
Hello, child. I'm gonna fight you to the death. Are you- oh, there's one thing they did get rid of in this game, is the ability to press X and just sort of come out of the menus. So you have to, like, double press B now, which is annoying. Let's go! Kneecaps! I'm not sure why he says that, but... Maybe because he's wearing shorts? I don't know. Youngster Kevin. What's up, Kevin? He's got a grubbin. Lentil. Engage the enemy. Engage the grubbin. Ow. Ow. Well, let's switch out. Because Pinto can just one-shot this thing with, uh, with an ember. Ah, yes. Yeah, I imagine this game, I will probably be finishing this game sort of around, like, December time. Um, which means that there'll probably be a brief period where I'm not playing a Pokemon game on a Sunday. But, um, I'm not sure. I might dedicate some more time to finishing this game. Um, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me, though. I don't remember how long this game is. I don't- I don't- I know it's not on, like, the longer side for Pokemon games, but it's not particularly short, either. Mostly because this opening, like, tutorial adds another, like, three hours onto this game. Um... But yeah, I say I've, I've got a lot of, like, streaming plans for, like, next year, specifically. But this month, for me, I have, like, way too much freelance work to do. Um, with, uh, Angela's Mortal Manual, which comes out next Friday. Once that's out of the way, that's something big that I can just get out like, out of the way off my chest. Um, this this is like my day off on a Sunday, right? Is uh, is, is you know one of my I, I take a day off on a Sunday and a and a and a, and a Tuesday a Wednesday even. Um, you know, it's not like a I refuse to do work on these days, but I will do I will not hold myself to doing any work. But because I'm advertising like a new release, I have to put out like marketing stuff later on and. I hate marketing. It sucks, and I hate it, and it's not fun. But, um... Yeah. That's the, um... The general goal, anyhow, is, uh, once Angela's is out, I've got some bits and pieces. Some, some, um, freelance stuff I will be doing live on stream. I have, like, a, a writing project I'm a part of, but I am going to live stream writing, because it's, like... It's, like, 2,500 words, so I will probably do over, like, two streams. Um probably do like a stream of like planning and a little bit of writing and then a stream of writing the rest of it most likely that'll probably be like two like you know like three like you know like two two and a half hour streams or whatever oh we can we can dry him off what a what a nice guy I've ignored Pokemon and me in the previous games, but this game has it integrated very well, and you can just go straight into it after a fight, which I kind of like. I think if Pokemon and me was a bit more, like, seamless, you know, if you, you pressed a button and immediately you, you went into, like, Pokemon and me or Pokemon Refresh or whatever the game you're playing calls it, because they have, like, a million different names. Um... Got Kukui's house is... The fucking shit in it. <laughs> Bonnie is ready. Okay, this music is pretty good, and it, this building is completely fine on the inside. Okay, it's inexplicably completely fine. That's a fake door.
I'm just imprisoning Rotom. It's kind of fun. Oh, is the he's the mini map now. Sadly, we can't use Rotom. Whoa ho ho! What's with Rockruff Shadow? It's super buggy. Is that a loft? That's awesome. Okay, yeah, the island challenge, yada yada yada, so shut up, seven trials, I don't give a shit, shut up, stop. Uh, sure, whatever. Yeah, this weird, this weird champ charm, or whatever. Someone, if someone steals that, you're just fucked, right? Someone steals the charm off your bag, and it's like, oh, I completed all the trials. Oh god, the fucking trainer school. I forgot about the trainer school. Because you gotta go to the trainer school and spend 40 minutes there. And that's still not the end of the tutorial. So look at all these rooms you can't go in. Ha, huh, I'm gonna go up here. Fuck you, Lily. Oh, she's decked this place out pretty nice. Look pretty advanced. <laughs> and she's sleeping on the sofa. There's a Stuffle. I think Stuffle is from this gen. Yeah, yeah, it is. What's downstairs? Seems inconvenient to have a basement in this house on the beach. I'm not sure how that works, you know. Polywell, some love disc in a tank. Does it connect up here? It seems to. Well, off to the trainer school we go. <laughs> young Goose. I do like Young Goose. He's good. I want to see just like gum shoes because he just looks like a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh f god fucking damn it. Let me escape, please. Oh f come on. Lentil's gonna die now, isn't he? Oh no, he's not. He's still going. Let's just fucking thundershock this thing. Oh, okay, no, it's actually faster. That, okay. Should have seen that coming, really, but here we are. So I'll do the care. Get the... I can't remember what high affection actually does. I think it's the like they can uh, they can like dodge attacks and like survive on on one HP and stuff like that, which is kind of good. Oh, there's a poker center here. Okay, 
I love how you just like all of this like rustic stuff and then immediately we walk like a few feet past where we've been before and it's like, oh, here we go. Here's a whole fucking like... Just just a whole ass... Um, just street. Pokemon... And what's this guy? Cool, Lily. Thank you. I'm gonna save. Oh god, fucking Festival Plaza. Get the fuck out of my goddamn face. And quick Link as well, yeah, that can... Oh, there's so much crap here, good god. Literally none of this is useful, so we'll just leave it here. Let me just click on these things so they get out of my goddamn way. Oh god. Shut up. Go away. Let me leave. Stop it. Go away. Go away. Go away. Let me leave. Let me leave. Let, let me leave. No. Ugh. I done? Poor Shroomish flickering in out of existence. Please, let me escape. Let me escape. No, stop. Stop it. No, let me... No, I don't want to. I want to leave. Let me out. Okay, shut up. Let me out. Let me out. I forgot about this hellish, awful place. I hate you, Sophocles. Go away. You have a cool name, but that's it. Cool, Cofagrigus. Let me get out of here, please. Please, let me leave. He said finally. Oh, thank God. Please, let me go. Let me escape from this hell. Use the menu on the lower screen. Wow, okay. Let me out. Let me out. Thank you. Oh, that was awful. That was the worst experience I think I've ever had. Oh, God. Still gonna come up with this stupid thing. I'm filled with hatred. Oh, and the bag is bugged as well. Oh, I'm filled with hatred. I'm filled with rage. Oh, this fucking emulator. This fucking emulator, man. I hate it. I'm never going to be able to keep this horrible fucking menu in check ever, am I? Okay, I'm free. We have Lantel, and we have Pinto, everything is fine. What does this guy do? Does he have anything of use to say? Never mind. 
I'm just gonna go. Can I click here? Okay. Yeah, that's our we can't go past this point thing. is the child. So yeah, we've got to fight four trainers. EXP share, we can turn that off. curious what they actually teach people at trainer school like I'm genuinely kind of interested what they teach people at a trainer school because obviously there's like tight matchups and shit but that's basically all you need to know about Pokemon like presumably there's like some you know sort of vague like training methods that they you know teach people or whatever like an in-universe way of training uh, stuff like that but even then it's like doesn't really mean anything to give you a very simple and important lesson. Probably, I don't know, uh, youth ath athlete Hiromi, sure. Picky Peck. I like Picky Peck. Uh, Trumbeak is like whatever, but I really don't like Toucanon like at all. It's it's just a Toucan. And that's it. But there's nothing special. It's just a Toucan. Like... It's, yeah, it's like, it doesn't have any, like, cool things, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's the same sort of level of, like, interesting as something like Swellow, in that it's not interesting at all. And, but at least Swellow has a cool name. It's just, oh, I just really don't like Toucan, I think it's fucking stupid. I don't like a lot of the Pokemon in this generation. It's, it's definitely my least favorite decks in the, in the whole franchise, like, by a, by a significant margin. There's a lot of Pokemon I really, really like. Basically, the whole deck is, is like a mix of, like, Pokemon I absolutely love and Pokemon I really hate, and there's not many that are really in the middle. Which is a problem. Um, for what I should imagine are pretty obvious reasons. Oh, youngster Joey. It's got a Metapod. some stuff. More stuff. I'm gonna use a... I'm gonna save.
fight this guy. Oh, he's the most powerful guy. I imagine the next kid is probably indoors. Uh, there's a bunch of kids. So it's like kindergarten or whatever. Um, who's this woman? Oh, Quicklaw. Most of my Pokemon are very fast, so I, I won't bother giving them any yet. In fact, I think most of my team is going to have like really fast Pokemon. And is this child one of the trainers? Sure. I'm not sure if fighting indoors is allowed within the trainer school. This is actually kind of a problem because I I just gotta have to Thundershock this thing and just hope I don't die. Having really good luck with paralysis. Oh, it's just copying my thing. It's just using Thundershock on me. Which does nothing, so I'm okay for now. Not sure what the chance with paralysis of being of doing nothing on your turn is. I think it's probably like 40% 40% maybe? I'm not sure. I can't be paralyzed by um, by electric type moves, anyways. This might kill. I'm not sure. It does. Well, it certainly does. The crit. Nice. Honestly, it might go a little bit longer today. It's been it's been sort of I've had, I've had you know sort of the itch. Once you get towards the end of a Pokemon Pokemon game, it's kind of like you know you get the itch to start a new one. Um. One, one thing, like, one of these days, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna make, or I'm gonna, like, with Joe, I'm gonna finish the, um, um, the Pokemon RPG, and I'm gonna play it. Um, honestly, it might be something I'd stream, but I don't know. I'm, I'm very apprehensive to stream actual play. I'd happily play an actual play. Um... So if anybody is running one, I will very happily uh, uh, join. But <laughs> the um, I'm very apprehensive to stream actual play, just because I don't want to have to deal with the faff of uh, not just running a game, but running a. Um, you know, running a game and having people scrutinize. Um, because usually when people scrutinize other people's DMing style, they're just wrong. <laughs> it's, it's the main thing. I'm pretty sure Square is a bot. I think? I may be wrong, but I'm fairly certain Square 14 is a bot. I might be wrong. Apolo ap 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 apologies if I'm um, calling you a bot, but uh, if you're not, then thank you. But I recognise the name. Oh, good lord! Yes, no. I was like, that's a bot. That's a bot, isn't it? And it's like, no, no, it's not. I'm very sorry. But <laughs> so yes, thank thank you very much for the host. I was like, I, s I swear, there's a bot with a very similar name. Oh god, this fucking menu. Probably digging myself a roll, really, but oh well. But yes, thank you very, thank you very much for the host. Um, oh.
Yeah, no, it's all good, it's all good. I forget what, um, what type Alolan Grimer is. Grimer. It's Poison Dark. So yeah, there's not really much I can do to deal with uh, Alolan Grimer here. Alolan Grimer is based off an oil slick. Only the rainbow colors that are produced where a thin layer of oil floats on top of water. This is due to the blah, 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 blah. Um, and particularly in Hawaii, which Alola is based on. It's, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, so the, the main thing with care that you can do is you can cure a Pokemon of a condition for free, which is really good, in case that wasn't, you know, painfully obvious. It's very good. You can use, I think it's, yeah, this medicine. Just sort of wiggle it over him. There we go. He is healed. He has been cured of poison because I waggled a bit of medicine in front of his face. That's a TM. That's pretty good. What work up is is good. Probably won't learn any, learn one just yet, but that's yeah, it's okay. Could pick it up later on. Attention all students. It's like, it's, oh, attention all students. Can this one particular student please come to the office? It's like, that's not attention all students. That's attendan, att attention this particular student. But, um, say, um, yeah, I've, I've mentioned this many, many times before because it was a few months ago and, you know, things came up and I stopped having a chance to work on it. Me and Joe started toying around with a, um, a Pokemon tabletop RPG. Um, and we got, like, some of the basics down in a place where I was actually really happy with them. I was still working out how, like, damage and hit points were going to work, but the idea was having a, a tabletop RPG that plays like Pokemon the video game and feels like the anime. So, bring in, like, you know, you can't dodge in the games, but in the anime, that's, like, happens all the time. Um, so being able to do that is, uh, is, like, a pretty significant thing. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Teacher Emily. There's a Magnemite. So I'll have to switch out on this. Because Lentil it's not really going to do much. I'm not sure why it makes like a weird Rowlet noise when that menu appears. Oh, good god, I hate... Why does it do this? Why does it feel the need to do this? It's like I selected the Pokemon I wanted. Stop with this fucking menu. Oh my god, it's gonna be- it's gonna get so annoying so quickly. Ow. Ow, I actually did a lot. I outspeed though, so I'm- I'm okay, but even so, ow. We'll switch out. I reckon Lentil could deal with a Meow. Oh my god. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. The, the more Pokemon we get, the more awkward that buggy ass menu is going to be. I'm going to have to try changing to. Um, 
to back to keyboard controls, which I haven't used in months. Oh, good god. Okay. We might black out on this thing. That does a lot of damage. That does a lot. <laughs> Yikes. I'm not sure why I tried to use an attack again, but I figured, oh, maybe I can, like, bank for the speed tie. I... The Pichu was... I, I pressed... I pressed... I pressed select by accident, and it reset the ROM. I hate this emulator so much. I hate this emulator. Oh, I hate this emulator so much. Okay, no, I didn't actually lose that much. I did just save. All right. I'm going to change the fucking settings and stop using this controller and hope that it decides that it wants to let me play. <sighs> oh, that's, that's fucking infuriating. See if everything is still bugged. Having to use the keyboard again is going to be a pain in the ass, but here we are. Yep, I guess it was the controller. That's really annoying. Right, let's heal up because I didn't get a chance to do that. Or I didn't, I saved before doing that apparently, so. fucking hurt my hands real fast, but here we are. My hands always hurt, so... Let's lead with Pinto. Try and deal with the Magnum as fast as possible. Scratch because it's literally on one. Oh, 
I'm gonna use charm. So I can take a bite. Like now I can take two bites. Assuming it doesn't crit. Let's charm it again. So attack is down to... Let's charm one more time. Low, lowest attack we can get it. Now we're going to use a potion. That's what I'm going to look at is um, the friendship checker is in Connie Connie City, which is at the very end of Island 2. So, yeah, that's kind of useless. Uh, we will 100% have Pikachu by then. It's like, at least in, like, Gala. Um, the... wait, no, ignore me, never mind, it's also really late on in the game. Great balls, sure. Not going to be using them for some time. If I remember correctly, our third Pokemon, yeah, is after Trial 2. And we haven't even done Trial 1 yet. It's going to be probably not even next stream, but the stream after. I guess I should probably check the trials. Oh, here we go, right. Okay. I will not remember anybody from this place. When does Litten evolve? That's something. I think we're almost done with the tutorial. 
two hours or almost two hours into this stream of play and playing the game. Level 17, so yeah, we're a fair ways away. That seems like... Oh yeah, they could pat the angry bull Pokemon. Seems like a great idea. Biggest city in Alola? To be fair, it is a street. It's bigger than Jubilee Life. <laughs> and there's cars. Those are rare. What well, about two of the same truck? Slowpoke. named after, you know, saying Aloha, and so they say Alola, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice little touch, I, I like it, it's kind of, kind of dumb, but I like it. This music, I think, is almost exactly the, uh, Pokemon, um, center music, I think, anyways. Yada yada yada. sake. So speed it up. Come on. Can I, can I? Uh. Thank you. 
Okay, right. Oh, no, no, no. Close the book, find out. Thank you. Please, let me out. Let me out of this hell. Okay, thank you. I'm free. I'm free from this hell. Well, I'm gonna see what's... There's some wild Pokemon here, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I think one of these has, um... May as well go into the apparel sh store and uh, buy stuff. Oh, I like th I like the apparel store noise. I do also remember the all of the uh, items in this game being awful. Get like a polo shirt or something. Sure, why not? I never bothered with this when I first played it, but um, or when I played like black and white, but why not? That's like, oh, they don't sell any shoes. Oh god, they sell fucking fedoras here. Awful. Now, where can you get a haircut? That's a cafe, I think. He says, uncertain. No, no, it's a, it's a, head, it's a hair place. Holy city, let's... trying to find like an actual like proper list
I just want a character that doesn't look like a fucking idiot. There we go, slightly better. Because just, just the, the generic hair looks fucking awful. Let's get Lentil up front again. Oh, this is, um... Because of course the Trial Captain is the richest guy in town. Sort of generic, nice but rich guy. Which is like, mmm, a little sus there. Because that's... Yeah, look at this fucking room. Well, at least he's a gamer, so there is that. At least he's a gamer. And Smeagol. Is this wet paint? No, this isn't. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. Oh, this is so you can't skip out because you can like zip between the two halves of the city by going through these areas with the wild uh, grass. And this is to stop you from missing out like the story flags. something here. What's over here? I'm curious about. Oh, just nothing. Okay. Nothing the game cares to show me anyway. <laughs> hey, I knew there'd be something here. I've got a bad TM. Okay, that's fine. I love how there's a police station directly outside of where crimes are currently taking place. Potentially even within eyeshot of this guy who stood right here, and he just doesn't do anything. <laughs> he just doesn't notice. Oh no. Oh no, they showed up from behind. I forgot about the Team Skull theme, which is really good.
Skull. Team Skull's logo is really great. And the music is pretty good too. That's just you, yeah, it's just you, Thunder Shock. Oh, that's good. Even missed its supersonic, so I just get to two shot it. Sweet kiss? That's actually quite good, I think. Does Sweet Kiss put them to sleep? Confuses them. I actually fight him. I think he's one of the only trial candidates you actually get to fight. Hopefully it's not too long before we get Pikachu, because man, Pichu sucks. In what ways does friendship increase? of damage. Ow. Why does that do so much damage? What the fuck? That does so much. Okay, that did, okay, you must have crit. Okay, that's fine. Level up in battle. And how does one... I mean, Liz better than Growl, I guess. It's still awful, but it's better.
Um. French value is 200. Oh, that just kills. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, I've lost. I don't think. Or I think, even. Oh, it has water gun. Okay. Um, good to know. Yeah, I'm kind of boned, huh? Fuck, huh? I just got completely beansed. Um, I guess I can give it another shot. Try using some of the stat lowering moves and shit like that. I'll just go the long way around, it's probably easier. I imagine I will probably stop after this, but I'm not 100%. It's a food stall. Oh, it's a festival plaza. Fuck that. Uh, is Ilya? Yeah, Ilya's still here. I think all Pokemon start at 70 friendship, I want to say. I need 220 for Pikachu. So we're going to be stuck with Pichu for a while. That's a tanky fucking young goose. Burn, that's pretty good. Oh, the... After a good start. Dealt with Young Goose much easier that time. Right, let's sweet kiss. Ow. Jesus. Pray for hurting himself in confusion. Nope. Static though. He's he's static and confused. Yeah, he's paralyzed and confused. So we might be in the money. Theoretically, anyway. Uh. 
Uh, or not. I guess we can just pray for Parahax. That's the only way. Nope. He has crazy luck. Also, fainting lowers happiness. Only by one, but even so. That's super frustrating, actually. Yeah, I guess I'll have to do a bit of training. Some, something I do know to be a fact is that Sun, um, especially Ultra Sun, is actually kind of hard. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily say in like a good, kind of challenging way, it's just kind of not very well balanced. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just kind of badly balanced. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we, we can't go that way. We have to go the long way around every single time. <laughs> Might turn the EXP share on and do some training. Let me, uh... Some chill music on the go again. Oh, I didn't get to press the care. Oh, you can zap yourself on Penner's cheeks. It's pretty great. Um... Another Pichu here. That's would have been nice to have easily found it earlier on, but now nah, well. Probably save. Maybe Pichu's just a much higher catch chance here. Yeah, I want to level but level them both up like once or twice. Because for whatever reason, Smeagol is fucking terrifying. Smeagol fucks you up. <laughs> Realistically, I probably should have used Charm instead of Sweet Kiss. I probably would have been smarter, but oh well. Not too big of a deal. Yeah, it's 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 nice going back to playing a Pokemon game that I'm not like super familiar with. Because the last couple I've played, it's like I know them like I know Gen 2 and Gen 3 so well that it doesn't matter that I haven't played them in a long time. It's just, I know them that well. Whereas Gen 7, I have only played both games once, and it was a long time ago. Um like, you know, I played each one once about a year apart, two years running five years ago. Uh, or four years ago, because that's when Ultra Sun came out, I think. Ultra Sun is 2017, most likely. Um, probably late 2017, I would imagine. Oh, God. That was, uh, what's his face? I look forward to doing the same with Sword and Shield, because I never actually finished Sword and Shield either. I got up to Leon and was like, okay, this is too much of an XP jump to be worth my time. Sword and, Sword and Shield just made me sad as, as video games, and I'm sure they will make me sad again. 
because I'm kind of neutral on Sun right now. The, oh, the tutorializing is awful and I hate it, but it's over now. You know, it's... It's not as long or as awful as I remember it being. It's kind of like The Gap in X and Y, which I remember being super egregious and annoying and taking forever um, between Gym 1 and Gym 2, but it wasn't actually that bad. It was long and kind of dumb, but I didn't I didn't hate it quite as much as I thought I would. Nah, <laughs> Abra's gone. Every time I say this, I once found a shiny Abra. And I think we all know what happened after I found the shiny Abra. It, it used teleport, and it went away. I threw a ball at it, you know, I, I, it was, I was playing Emerald at the time, a long time ago. Um, and, uh, yeah, it teleported away. Um, and it was like, j j the gym just north of, uh, Rustboro. Uh, the one towards, um, uh, um, the the cave, the connecting cave between Rustboro and that other town. It's it's the route before that, um, that thing. And, um, yeah, Shiny Abra. I had, like, a grey ball, maybe, and they used teleport, and I was very sad. I was, I was very upset. I was, I was only, only, like, 14 at the time as well. It was a, it was a, it was a sobering experience. Shiny Abra used teleport is, uh... Sort of the uh, Mr. Incredible meme is, I found shiny Pokemon. Abra used teleport. Shiny Abra looks really cool as well. It's, it's, uh, it's blue. Well, it looks pretty neat. Yeah, I think we mostly need to level up Lentil, really. I'm just going to save myself a time, because <laughs> it's just going to teleport away. It outspeeds Pichu, so. There's another one, okay. It really wants me to fight Abra. Sure, why not? No. <laughs> oh, wow, Tail Whip, which I can't really do anything with, because... <laughs> I don't have any physical. Pichu doesn't have any physical moves. I'll get I'll get um, Lentil to level twelve, and then I will uh, most likely go fight um, Ilya and then call it there. So I got some ad stuff to do, and I'm probably gonna go out for a wander. To be honest, I have done the last few days in a row. It's quite quite pleasant to, uh, and it's not raining today either, which is you know good. sort of going out around this kind of time for the last few days and it's, it's quite nice it's quite nice shocks but I've still got about like 10 left so I can keep going for a little bit longer and I think I should level up after this anyways yeah oh, I thought I was I thought I was about to evolve and I was like oh hell yeah but now nah. let's do some refresh real quick Level 1 affection, level 2 affection. Let's see if we can get him to level 2. Let's, let's eat those beans, my dude. Poker beans. That might be Malasado. I, I don't know. I don't really care. Oh, he's not hungry. He has consumed all the poker beans he needs. There we go. Level 2 affection.
I'll probably speed walk over there and then uh, switch back to because uh, it's, it's going to take a while. Say a while. It's going to take longer than I would like it to. Training complete. Everybody's leveled up like twice, I think. I think we were 10 and 11 and now we're 12 and 13. I'm pretty sure anyways. Send the EXP a share off shit. I mean, that's fine for this fight. I'll turn it off afterwards. Someone remind me if I don't. Still doesn't do less than half, though, so. <laughs> Gonna try and charm him down. Oh, water! Yeah, water gun is more effective for him now, which does a lot, but it doesn't do quite as much. Let's sweet kiss this time. I think sweet kiss has a 100% accuracy. Seventy-five. I've just had good luck with it. I've used it twice. Potion again. Oh, he's full healing. Oh, full heal does confusion. That's interesting. I guess we'll use another one. We've got plenty of potions, so... Yeah, having great luck with Sweet Kiss. Thundershock. He's confused. Hit it, hurt himself. Confusion. Good stuff. Uh, Thundershock does a respectable amount of damage. Can't hurt yourself again. Nah. Potion. Okay, yeah, we got him that time. A little bit of strategy, a little bit of extra tank. I'll dry him off. Dry off the boy. Time to dry the boy. The boy is suitably dry now. He's been demoistened. Yeah, saying that is... I think I'm going to head back to the center. Oh, hang on, I almost forgot. EXP share off, because if I don't do it now, I will 100% forget next week. 
yeah, I'm I'm enjoying myself so far. I'm 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 squarely enjoying myself. Uh, uh just Streamlabs. I'll say it runs basically everything. Yeah, so it's just Streamlabs, just runs everything. Or OBS, or whichever. Uh, da, 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 da. I may as well do the little bit of, like, gamekeeping, so to speak, to uh, open up the next route or area or whatever. Whatever this cutscene is. Oh, some weird bug there. Well, there's a... Uh... That's probably a good spot to leave things for today. Um, um, I think I've said more than once thus far fucking hated this game the first time I played it, sort of circa five years ago. Um, and so far, it's alright. The opening tutorialization stuff is annoying, to say the least, but um, so far, seems seems alright. I think um, I think I'll probably come out of this positively. It's like, it's like, so far, my opinion of this game has gone from I hate this game to this game is okay um but um we shall see what happens to that opinion as the game goes on and as we have to do the trials because man the trials fucking suck um but yeah say i'm gonna i'm gonna head off here um i i might see if it's someone to raid there very rarely is there isn't so yeah no um yeah, so, hope folks have enjoyed themselves. If you want to press the buttons or whatever, go ahead. Um, thank you very much for the follow. Um, as, um, but yeah, so I, um, I, well, I play Pokemon games mostly every Sunday. And on a Monday I make D&D &D nonsense. Um, which I will be doing tomorrow. I'm going to finish off, or hopefully finish off, making Artificer spells. But I need to head off now because i got to do some marketing crap for a book I'm putting out next week. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Is there a Twitter thing? Hang on, do I have a do I have a bot command for Twitter? That's the question. I do. Look at me go. Look at me having previously been organized. See, so yeah, I post most of my nonsense here. Um, if you want to keep up to date or whatever, like do whatever you want. Like I'm not I'm not bothered. But yeah, I'll say thanks for sticking about, folks. I will uh, hopefully see some people tomorrow. If not, um, at some point over the next week. See ya.